<laughs> Let's go. I don't think we should play again. <laughs> I don't think we should play guitar after seeing that. Yeah. At least a day. At least a day. At least a day. She's a she's a badass play, man. <laughs> damn. Damn. Mm -hmm. um, what were they laughing at? I I I was gonna play that little um advert, and then I accidentally I pushed the um the camera button, so it was like we were just we were talking about uh, your comments and uh, whose comment was it? I was talking uh, about your head. Joey, our uh, hutch is waiting for his head to arrive. It requested its own limo. Yeah, so we were just <laughs> laughing at that when we came when you, when you came on. <laughs> but how did he find out? <laughs> yes, yes. Hello, guys. How's everyone doing? Troll, smart Alec. Look at that. Even Michael's here today as well. Hey, I, d I don't know when the last time I was live. It feels like a while. Yeah. It, this feels like, weird. Yeah. I like it. Oh, yeah. You've been streaming again? Yeah, I'm back to like streaming again, but yeah, because I mean, we're quite regular on these streams we were doing every fortnight. That's right, for, yeah. Like, ages, and then I was ill. Mm. With, oh, with, that's with right. So flu. this is the third time lucky because the had, previous two times. Yeah, I had proper flu where I was Jake. so ill I didn't want to do music. <laughs> there you are. Okay. Mm. Um, if you're watching on Twitch, um, Twitch can be a bit. I don't know. The sync last time was just all over the place. Um, <laughs> hey, hello, gentle people. I wonder. Um, yeah, we got a few people on Twitch, huh? Yeah, I, I suspect most people is on YouTube, which m reminds me. Before we play a track, um, I should let everyone know on Discord that um, we're definitely streaming on. Uh, everyone. There we go. Look at that. Should we play a track? Get the fingers yeah, going? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, I need something to warm up to. Boom, boom, boom. Um, hopefully. There we go. What about, um, backing track? How's that? I've no idea. I've no idea the key, um, but we'll figure it out. Man flu is the worst. This is true.
Reminded me of like the end of the um I don't know what track it was, it's like something like that. One of the riding out mm -hmm. tracks and I don't know. I don't know. I wanna learn how to do what? I d I don't know. It, it was a it was a Timmy Hutch special lick or uh, one of my silly licks. I don't know. But we just discovered when I go on my dry settings, I cl I change both of our tones yeah. mm -hmm. simultaneously. That's well, going to keep things fresh, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no more. The repeated lick you were just doing. Oh, um, that was um, actually doing a little bit of um. Oh, hello, JB. Push, push up. Anybody know when you push, push? Economy picking. <laughs> Normally, I would like to alternate picking that, that sort of thing. And I just changed to this position just to make it a little bit easier. And I think I did something like... I don't know, like a two-note per string. I don't know, I like the sound of it. Um, what, what do you like? When, when you would do something like that, push like down, down, up. Yeah. I like the sound of the alternate pick. I like, you just go all straight. You know what I think? I don't know. Yeah. It's very, very Zach Wild. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Hey, Chris, what's up, mate? Any polychrome updates? Actually, yes, we've got a really cool update. We're using this update. It's about to be released. It's a performance and there's a couple other little behind the scenes tweaks, but the biggest 
noticeable difference that you're gonna notice is um for me it was about three percent cpu improvement i don't know it's, it seems to be different for everyone mm -hmm. but across the board like when luca was testing it he got a major cpu i mean we're, we are already very very efficient but he's managed to uh extract um, a little bit more more uh, somehow i don't know some kind of we had look at magic, but it's, it's it's definitely more efficient. This setup here normally is 23%, like 23 to 25%, with me and Hutch's instances and all the mic shit that we're running. And right now it's on 16%. So across the board, uh, across both of our instances, that's like 7% on average difference. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, what's up, June, the, the ads? Uh, Robbie, I don't know. Um, I don't know. I set it up a while back. Maybe it's changed. I'm not sure. It should just have one starting ad, and then that's it. Look at this one clever dude. Yeah, yeah. Um, and all I've been doing all week, I was just tell telling Tim earlier, was um, testing, testing amps and testing new exciting things. So many breakthroughs. It's like when, when you're in the development phase, it's like boring, boring, groundwork, groundwork, and then bang, something amazing happens. It's like... So I had, um, well, we had three of those kind of moments this week. Brilliant. Oh, exciting. I know, Alec, very exciting. Uh, what latency like with both of you guys plugged in? Uh, six milliseconds round trip. Did the same last night. Nice. Nice, Robbie. Um, I've got blisters. What? Why you got blisters for, mate? Good afternoon, Jens from Florida. Oh, thanks for tuning in, mate. Yeah, if you're watching on Twitch and it's a bit weird, um, uh, jump on the, the YouTube stream. Jump on the YouTube stream. Um, it uses 5% Oh, troll. That's not a lot. I like it. Uh, I've got blisters on my fingers. I know this guy plays violin, but I don't know. I don't know. Mate, uh, it's been... Oh, Kevin Crunch is here as well. It's been so long since I've had, like, fretting hand blisters. Do you ever get mm -hmm. that at all? Or is it just, like, they're just... Very rare. Yeah, I, I can play 10 hours a day and they're just like, they're just like little stumps of, um, jeez. <laughs> just grating. No, I mean, I guess they're very sort of padded, aren't they? Yeah. I see yours? Are yours hard, are they? Yeah, right. Oh, yours are way harder, yeah. Feel, feel the end of mine. See, cheese. Little balls of mozzarella. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Probably put cream on them. <laughs> no, no cream. <laughs> uh, Hutch got my sweat. You got the same shirt. <laughs> Gramps, oh, gra yeah, yeah. Gramps ordered one. Oh, Robbie, Robbie's in California. Nice. Um, I'm on the way to hang out with friends at the Soul Out Holly. What holiday gig in NYC? Just want to pop in. Oh, Arthur, always good to see, you, mate. <laughs> JB, feel each other's tips. JB, it's not that kind of stream, mate. But at least you're on YouTube, you're on the right platform, so it's... <laughs> um, if you do not own the Polychrome DSP McRocklin Suite, we have not officially launched this. Um, I'm looking for an overlay, and I think I added an overlay, overlay earlier. Um, maybe? It's, um, you can tell I'm, I'm not a professional streaming type of man. Any no, it's it's it was at least a day again. That's a day. Just boom. That's four cameras. Um, oh, <laughs> look at that. That's from a live lesson that I did. But that look look at that. Have you ever seen a setup like that, Tim? Very nice. I, I, I'll see if you can guess who that pedal board is. I can't even talk. Correct. Whose pedal board? Though? Uh, whose pedal board do you think that is? It's from one of our very own on Discord. Sean. Sean's. Sean has a pedal board, kind of not too dissimilar, but it's not Sean. No. Yeah. Yeah, it's Alec. It's uh, not Alex. Right, okay. Yes, look at that. Yeah, he went to town on that. Look at that. Very nice pedal Pretty board. Organized. Oh, yeah. Abs. Look at the bomb. He got all of his stuff labeled out very nicely. You see, Smart Alec is a professional kind of streamer. Oh, I'm not. I'm making. I'm, I'm making this picture tiny. Yeah. Okay. So that's not what I wanted to show you, um, Alec. Oh, gosh. What am What am I doing? 
Get rid of that. <clears throat> there we go, it's the window sale! 50% off right now. I love how I put the overlay right there to cover myself up. Look at that, move in the middle, there we go. That's what a professional would do, Tim. 50% off, right now. PolychromeDSP.com, there we go. Lovely. Should we play another track? Yeah, have you got a footstool? A footstool? Oh, yes. I know something missing. What's up, that? Now, do you put it on your left or your right foot? It depends. Sometimes, I think I like to go for my right. Oh, oh nice. just balances things nicely. Yeah. yeah. That looks, uh, what, high-tech? Like my old Boss pedal setup, yeah. <clears throat> I've been in and out <laughs> of clean pedal boards. Sometimes my board's been really, 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 like, very, very well labeled and cable yeah. management and stuff, and then it's other times it's looked terrible. Mm -hmm. Right now, I don't use anything apart from really controllers to control the polychrome software but um yeah very cool though very cool see how other people are using the polychrome dsp software okay okay hey what about a, what about a classic tim mm -hmm. oh, that was so uh, anticlimactical climactical the track again okay this time we'll go for it let's give it a shot
need a drum run stage to go yeah. <laughs> Symbols. Whoa! Yes, um, there's been a lot of chat in the uh, comments about the number of likes versus viewers, and basically we've seen some likes, so maybe it's... everybody hit, the, hit the, the thumbs up button. That's only fair! Unless you're watching in incognito, mm -hmm. uh, like not logged in. Do you ever do that? Do you go on YouTube and go like, oh, I'm not logging in because... I shouldn't, I shouldn't have these videos, you know, suggesting these type of videos coming forward again. Mate, like, no, you might, I don't know, like... It's incognito mode, never seen it. Well, I mean, you might get an incognito tab, and then, like, yeah. so I'm gonna, I'm gonna figure out how to, like, do a baked cheesecake, and you don't want to be, like, swamped with baked cheesecake recipes. Baked cheesecake. Ah, right. Yeah, like, you gotta, you're gonna search for it. Not that we have people here in incognito mode, not signed into YouTube. I'm very sure that everybody's signed in. Mm -hmm. uh, Gramps was here. He was going absolutely wild. <laughs> Haven't seen Gramps in a while. How are no. you doing? I mean, it takes a lot of work moving the hand. You see, Gramps, <laughs> Gramps, he's got a good idea what's going on, making that cheesecake. Mm -hmm. So it seems. Maybe we're talking about different things. Whew. Tony safety videos in incognito because I don't want those mother... Oh, shit, I'm... I feel like... It's been a while since I've um, let the, the cursing words come out on this live yeah. stream. I was t very tempted. I used to blast, blast them a lot. Ooh. Hello, Blondie. Uh, Blonde Nemi, hello. Great tones. There you go. Look at that. All from one plugin. And you can get it right now at polychromedsp.com with a 50% discount. And you're still going to get the $120. School of McRock Lead Essentials Bundle as well. OlyGrumDSP.com. Even if you want to take a free trial, you can also do that. 1.51, uh, I think we'll be releasing that early next week. It's pretty much done. Yeah, I may, I, I, I had a beep button. It was great. The timing wasn't so good, but I, I spilled a, an entire protein shake on it. Two liters, not just a little bit, two liters. And, and, and I... I just couldn't go back to it again. You couldn't stay off the YouTube, Thomas. Uh, well, yeah. Yes. Uh, Hutch should get some Rylers on the Polychrome slate. I mean, you need to play him from showing up the stream. What? You need to pay him for some sh showing up for the stream. Yeah, right do there. it for the love. It does it for the love, mate. <laughs> <laughs> um, Polychrome DSP. Uh, that's, um, yeah, that's what I'm using for all the tones. Uh, this is the... Uh, <clears throat> Plug in if you if you're new to the stream, um, this is what the first page of the plugin looks like, and uh, in a bit I'll I'll show you a little bit of, a bit more about it. But right now, um, there you go. You can get fifty percent off on the winter sale. PolychromeDSP.com. That's all the tones. <laughs> if you want a nice clean. Maybe a, a gritty clean. A different type of clean. Chunks! Does it all? Mm -hmm. Well, everything I need. There you go. Hey, let's have a, a listen to your tones. You right. have five tones. It's alive. I'm going to show the plugin. Um, um, sorry. This is Tim's instance that you're seeing on the screen because we're both using it right now. Um, separate instance, so he has his own instance loaded, and we have a controller on the floor, um, kind of like you know this kind of deal, like a controller, and then we're just using this to like go through different presets essentially. So Tim has another one of those actually plugged in, uh, sold, 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 and I'm going to show you his instance. He'll, he'll go through some tones that he's using. Like you have five tones that you use for this stream. Five, yeah. And then you have the swampy button, I yeah, think. So, so uh, this is this, the screen. The swampy 
thing. It's very cool. And then your second preset is. Um, that's is that one of the. Oh yeah, fist, fist bump. bump. Yeah. <laughs> That was just like my random tone, wasn't it, from the last string? Oh. Hey, Pat! Hello! And then you have a clean? Uh, yes, Ooh, this twist. is the... Uh... So it's a nice fuzzy sort of clean. That's your clean. Yeah, and then we've got another clean. Uh, um, so this is the. Uh... Oh, that's very. Uh, that's the afterglow. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be interesting. I have the afterglow three. Um, preset on my setup, so you play one right. chord. That's after, and this is after glow three. Probably a little bit more, it's got a little bit more grains going on it, but it's very yeah, simple. You got a polychrome on day one, oh mate. Yes, sick tone. Thank you, mate. Thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, and that's all just one plugin. Uh, you know, back in the day, pedal boards, loads of plugins, thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. But now, just one single plugin. I got Polychrome on day one, and it changed everything on my setup. Oh, mate, that's very nice. The afterglow. I used to collect IOs and um, and use guitar rig, which is a memory hog with high latency. It was horrible. Oh yeah, yeah. I used to uh, be an ion junkie as well. Yes, good to see you, Pat. How are you doing? Any plans over the weekend? Uh, Fifty cent off the of the suite could be the best bargain of the last century. Don't miss on this. Yeah, polychromedsp.com. Hey, let's try some tones. If I play like some E minor. <laughs> I best tune first because I just went mental. But we'll... See a lot of unaffiliated players. Yeah, a lot of people are just using it off their own bat. Which is great. You're just relaxing. I like that. Wow, mate. Here we go, here we go.
I pushed the wrong button. Does that grain down? Oh yeah.
There we go. Okay. You and me, truck. Hey, thank you again for the uh, the twenty. <clears throat> Man, I was on the on the fence about the kebabs. I didn't know the kebabs <laughs> yeah. was going to happen, but the, <laughs> apparently the kebabs was happening. Saved. Yeah. Are uh, you doing a solo contest soon? Promise if I throw an entry this time. Oh yeah, it has been a while. We had some really, really fun solo challenges. Maybe, it's, maybe it's we can strike one up. I don't know if it'll be in December or start the new year with a, a new challenge. Yeah. Making sure you got a pointy pick. Yeah. Um, what is it about keys and guitars that inspires to play? <laughs> Such incredible. Oh, that's very nice. <laughs> um, for me, when I pick up, especially this guitar, or the, actually, you've been seeing a lot of the Skull McRock lessons. I've been using the other ones because, unfortunately, the strings are trashed on both of these. MCR 6Xs, but when I pick them up, it just feels like an extension. And I guess you must feel the same to some degree with your Osiris. Yeah, it's part of my body, mm -hmm. basically. Mm. Very, very easy very... to pick up, very easy to play. Yeah. And for me, like, so recently, like, I, I, I do a lot of um, the testing with um, Polychrome, also with passive guitars, and also I use a Kiesel Delos. But for the day-to-day -day stuff, when we're working on amps and pedals and stuff, when I have this guitar, like here, keyboard, mouse, doing this, I'm on the phone to uh, Luca, we video call, and there's loads of stuff going on, and they, they're just like, they're just so good for that, you know? I don't feel like they're in the way when I'm doing stuff, you know? Yeah, Hutch's Delos is sad and lonely. Yeah, the Delos, the, the red, sorry, orange. Lambo Orange. Oh yeah. Delos yeah. HD. I've yeah. Been, I've been hooked on this. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna find us another track, but whilst we're finding another track, how about this? That is right, you can save 50% right now and get all of the tones that we're using, all the tones that I use. In fact, I just did a, a, a track not so long ago and it's getting released at some point. And um, I recorded this solo, I kid you not, in about three minutes. Mm -hmm. I used one preset, it was partly lead two. And I went with a second take, I did three takes and th there was only like 20s. 30, 40 seconds for the main solo, and then like a, a verse thing. And I exported it with just the Polychrome plugin, and now it's on, a, well, um, in January, I think it's being released. Mm -hmm. No post-processing, just that one preset. There you go. Um, if you are on the fence about Polychrome, pull the trigger, buy it. Uh, that's some encouragement right there. Um, yeah, and uh, Joe R, once you're, um, once you're red, I keep saying red. Orange. Orange. Orange, HD. Isn't it? Yeah. Orange, yeah. 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 Get her. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. She, she's absolutely a fantastic guitarist. Really, really cool. Um, I, I don't know if you're asking uh, Michael about Sustainiac, but um, I've only tried Sustainiacs very briefly on. I think it might have been a Sinister Gates model. Their Schecter, you know the Sinister Gates guitar, like the stripey sort of thing? Mm -hmm. um, pretty, pretty cool, but I've never had a Sustainiac on a guitar that I've actually owned. I don't know if you've ever what had it. What is it? Um, you know, well, basically it kind of like, it gets the strings, v v like, sort of magnetized and vibra- like, not vibrate, vibrating, <laughs> like, so what is it? I don't know if anyone can technically extend, but basically if you turn your sustain <coughs> sustainer on, your note will just go. So you, know, you see like, yeah, you see like Steve yeah. I and the, you know, he really kind of plays to it. Uh -huh. You know, it's not for everything, but like if you use it subtly in the right place, they're pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's, there's generally like two different main types. Yeah, like the Fernandez one and something else. But um, 
it's it's kind of I don't know if it's harmonics or not, but it gets the string like resonating a lot. Mm -hmm. And it's something that's like it touches on your guitar. It comes up that bad from that technique. <laughs> yeah, you could do. It. Yeah, like you, you like basically if you turn it on, like all your strings. So is it the thing that sits in here? Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's like it takes a battery. Mm -hmm. So it'll get your strings like basically as if you like in front of a thousand watt amp on full. Yeah. Ah, right. Yeah. 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 If you've ever used a, an, an Ebo, right, where you can get the Ebo and go. Right. Why haven't we got those? Huh? That sounds fun. Ebo. Yeah. Yeah. You. Can, I mean. Yeah. I mean, you can give one a try. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Like, they're fun though. Not for me or like on my main guitars, mm -hmm. but like. Look at this, soulful jam track in D minor just came up when I went on the elevated jam tracks oh, on right. YouTube and I just hit the shuffle button and this is what we have apparently, it's um, soulful and seductive. Okay. I'm gonna get a low, low gain tone, low, low gain tone. Get some low gain on it, where have my... this track you're in an imaginary situation you're like cruising 63 miles an hour towards an open clean beach that's got no one on it what are you doing what's your imaginary situation to this music What the fuck? I mean, look, the stuff of cold. Oh my god.
this is oh, uh, uh, wait a minute, me, me, is the COVID back? No. The COVID's not back? No, no, no. Yeah, okay. um, hey, Nikas, is that Nikas? Hello. Nicholas. Um, because <laughs> I asked a question just what, what would be the um, hypothetical situ situation that, that you'd be in when you like listen to that track. Um, Thomas, those bicep pills are clearly playing well off me. Oh, thank you. I, I'm, I'll, I'll disrupt what I was saying just to, to take, right. a, take a compliment from D. Okay. Rich. Man, I'll slip you that tenor under your doormat tonight. Oh, look at that. Bang. What are the eyeballs? Hello. Um, had a shoulders day today, actually. Very nice. Absolutely punishing those shoulders, Timmy. Um, Cos was saying, sitting on a beach with my feet in the water. Ooh, that's always a good feeling. Mm -hmm. The sort of heat, but the cool on the feet. Song starts playing as a hungry shark is looking at me. Ooh, it's getting a bit sinister there, Cosy. Uh, licking their lips in uncomfortable fashion, but the water is so cool. Basically, Cosy is about to get his legs bitten off by a shark. But, <laughs> but in the moment, he's fine with it. That's fine. Yeah, and congratulations, D. Rich. Look at that. Top 50 um, on the uh, the next Jared Dines solo sh shred extravaganza. Excellent. If it's on pure talent and striking good looks, mm -hmm. D. Rich number one. He's got it. Hundred percent. Or it's uh, it's in the bag. Uh, any department store sale announcement during this? What? What? Department store sale. Um, oh, we, yeah, we could have a special on, like, um, in Dubai, there's, like, a lot of non-label versions of, like, Nike shoes. Like, there was a shop called R&B, and it was amazing. Mm -hmm. Actually, these pants are R&B pants. It's, like, kind of like the mm, Primark Matalan of Dubai. You go in there with 100 euros or 100 dollars, mm -hmm. and you just walk out with, like, bags and bags of stuff. But it's all, like, comfy, nice stuff. Right, good quality. Yeah, R&B, my favorite shop in Dubai. All right. Yeah, spend all day in there, no problem. Um, <laughs> you guys are like tuning in, like what the fuck? Um, question: Is Coach's Hutch's car equipped with a <laughs> with a what? A hairbag? <laughs> <and steering? laughs> of course it is. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> Does uh, lifting help your hand strength and playing at all? You know what, Clem? This is actually a really good question because uh, last year I used to have a lot of wrist pains when I was playing, mostly in my right hand. Mm -hmm. And this year, very few wrist pains, if at all. Like, I can't remember the last time I had wrist pains. So I have backed down to like three gym sessions a week where I was doing four. But I feel the best I've ever felt. I'm I'm a bit chunkier right now because I've been bulking and eating a lot. So you know I'm piling some extra pounds on for sure. But you know we'll strip that off in the the warmer climate, spring and summer. Right. Introduce the cardio. Mm -hmm. Last year when I was starting to get like into the gym, I was running twice a week or doing an hour on the treadmill. Mm -hmm. Right now I ain't oh, doing no. no fucking running. Fuck the running. Just lift. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Lift it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I think it was like one of the best moves I ever made. Um, is Kiesel Guitar going to create a budget brand guitar line? Kind of like, uh, nah, no chance. I don't think you'll ever see that. Kiesel have their quality. They have their minimum spec in terms of like what kind of materials you're going to get for a base model guitar. They're all made in Los Angeles, well, not Los Angeles, in California. There's no chance Kiesel's gonna go like do a 699 guitar set. Never. It's not gonna happen. Not as, not in this uh, lifetime of the Kiesel family, I would say. And I think it's probably the right move. Uh, oh, there we go. I can speak to that too. I uh, was having major right shoulder issues from playing guitar and completely vanished after getting into the gym routine. There we go. Yeah. Uh, play a piano. No, I have a keyboard under here. This is this is as exciting as my piano gets. <laughs> doink doink, you know, just very minimum. Do you play? You have a piano in your house, though. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Proper one. Yeah. Hutch um, Hutch has a, tr a string quartet that plays him to to, to 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 his bedtime stories, and he drifts off, uh -huh. and it's like. <laughs> and then the check on them, like, oh, is he out? Is he out? Yeah. 
He's out, he's out. We can go. We can go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, fretless guitars. I've tried them before. I, hmm. I like, like, the, uh, you know, the, like, there's elements, but the hyper annoying because you have to play so precise. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, try one. Imagine, years, imagine years live stream. <laughs> it just sounds like we're completely drunk. Oh, it would be horrendous, wouldn't it? Yeah. With all the knowledge of technology, I'd pay to see these two go camping. Oh, mate, can you imagine? <laughs> Is it Jenna? I'm calling Jenna mate. She's a mate. Um, yeah, I, I, I would be shit at getting a tent up. I'm sure the last time I went camping, I ended up sleeping in the van. I was like, you know, this is not working. It's like voluntary homelessness. Oh, it's just, I love the idea of it. You know, the great, the great outdoors and stuff. Yeah. Uh, prestige or Kiesel quality wise? Mate. The thing is, is with Ibanez is I've had J Custom sent to me free of charge, which I've sent back because they were just weren't amazing. They weren't like the quality wasn't great. I've never had that. Even before I signed my deal with Kiesel and became a Kiesel artist and became a signature artist, even just when they sent me a tester guitar out, I was like, oh shit, this is like that next level. But also this is to me is like, is the kind of inspiration that I've been looking for. This was around about 2017. I wasn't that long back into the music industry and I was like trying all these different guitars. And as soon as I tried the Kiesel Osiris, the first guitar that they sent me, I knew I had a very, very sort of difficult um, decision to make because I returned to the music industry. I was friends with Ibanez. They were very, very nice and sent various guitars out. Um, but I was also looking for something different at that time. And once I tried my first Kiesel, I was like, the hunt is over, you know? And then I got to know them and I really, really got on really well with them. Um, it's not to say you can't get a fantastic Ibanez guitar, you know? We both have probably mm -hmm. old yeah, guitars yeah. like RGs and have gems and stuff. And whilst technically, I don't think they're on the same, you know, kind of level as a, a base model Kiesel, like an Aries or an A2, but nostalgic and vibes and you might just love the look of a, an RG or a gem. And I think, you know, when you see a guitar on the wall, sometimes it's about that look. It's like, what is going to make you want to pick it up? You know, for me, I love the look of these headless guitars and I didn't at first. I, I, thought, they were, I thought they were kind of weird and I never envisioned myself being a headless guitar player ever. But when I, when I tried one, I was like, oh shit, everything's changed now. Yeah, they're just easy and light. I mean, mine's an absolute, this one's an absolute workhorse. Um, Gramps, between a headless guitar and an A2, for me, what I really, really struggle with, and I'll be honest, is when I go between a headless guitar and a guitar with, with a headstock, the the trem and the, the bending, like, in terms of how much you bend, it's a slightly different amount because the, the, the shorter string means you bend ever so slightly. It's probably only like a centimeter or two, but your muscle memory takes like a few minutes to adjust. So when I jump on like an Ibanez or a, a Kiesel A2 or an Aries, um, the bending is ever so slightly different. It's only slight, but it's enough to make you sound like you're bending flat or sharp sometimes. But you know, then obviously five minutes later, it's totally fine. But if I had to choose one guitar forever, uh, obviously it would be, you know, this the signature one, but also I would take uh, equally like Tim's Osiris or his HD and, you know, I, I prefer headless over a head id. Head id, or get a guitar with a head sock, if that makes sense. Oh my God, yeah, you've gone wild, mate. My first two Kiesels have been great. Have two more in the oven. Hoping for the same, I'm sure. Yeah, fun stuff, man. Yes, um, almost at 100 likes on YouTube. I wonder if we can get over to 100. Mm -hmm. Let's go, let's go, guys. Let's give it a... Let's give that bell a little push. Let's give the thumbs up a little push. Um, and, um, and we'll play something heavy in return. How's that? Something dry. Give me a dry talk.
hit this motherfucker. <laughs> You shredded so much, I touched that the camera over here. <laughs> yeah, I had to turn it off. <laughs> uh, we'll turn it back on in a second. Um, yeah, it's actually pretty warm in here today, considering how yeah. cold it is outside today. So that's interesting. What happens when your camera overheats? Uh, you got to go to a different camera. Yeah, that's does, a good. Does it give you a warning though? Oh no, it just goes off. Yeah, <laughs> Livio, hello, hi, hi. Um, so, uh, who is asking um, what presets I'm using these days um, for that sound, that song? I'll show you, I'll show you. So, this is my Ableton here. What I'll do is I'll actually put the camera on as well as Ableton. So, this is the door that I'm using, ladies and gentlemen. Here is the plug-in. Oh, yeah, it actually has changed. So, let me turn the camera on as well so you can see see one of us at least oh no we can see tim's feet <laughs> no well we're just seeing tim's feet that's all we're seeing wait a minute camera what camera can you be can you be a different camera can you be camera b camera b is overheated let's go with camera a <laughs> but we're not seeing much of tim um well uh oh okay well, yeah, that'll be okay. <laughs> Just look at me while you Just... demonstrate. <laughs> All right, I'll turn the camera um... around. Here we go. Look at that. This is it. Easy. That's good enough for now. All right. Um, so, yeah, on my dry sections, that's what I'm using for the the sort of uh, the dry section here. Let me just tune up a little bit because I should assign a button to the polychrome tuner actually. That'd be nice. I know some of you guys have done that, but I have. I'm so lazy at signing stuff. So yeah, this. And then let it rip sun. That's what I use for that second sound. Um, I really, really like that one. And then I've been using the liquid lead still. <laughs> using that wild laugh. I like that a lot. And then my clean that I use is the uh, the white limo for the sparkly clean. And then I have this as my default. I really like that one, clean man's clean. And that's kind of my delay. 
you know, a bit more uh, ambient sort of delay. And then I have uh, Red Leather Lead, which is just my alternative lead sound along with the... Uh, this other sound. So this is the uh, the, the plugin that I, that I use, if you haven't figured out that out by now. Uh, this is the first page, wah wah, heat presser, multi-algorithm compressor, synth arc. Phaser, which is really, really cool, especially in wide mode, love that. Put that on on your solos, like this. Lots of fun. And um, yeah, then we have four overdrive pedals, which are great to stack on top of each other. 21 speakers, two different types of EQ, and delay with three different modes, reverbs with three different algorithms, and a swampy mode, a stereo chorus, a compressor, wide mode, and a tuner. And of course, now we have all of the MIDI mapping, so you can do all of the MIDI stuff as well. And the best part about it is if you look down at the bottom left, it's running even in oversample mode. The latency is just 0.068. It's very, 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 very fast. And it's very, very light on your CPU as well. It doesn't take up a lot of resources on your computer. Um, so that is it. You can get it right now. 50% off as well. Bonus. Let's put that camera back and try turning the other one on. Oh, red leather, yeah, yeah. <laughs> red leather pants. Yeah, let's try turn that camera back on, see what it says. Come on. Yay! Yeah, enjoy the movie. Sne oh, who's, ha who's having a movie? Um, no, I haven't got a scalloped uh, neck from Kiesel, no. I did like scallop necks when I tried them in the past, though. Have you All tried right. scalloped? Once, I think. Mm -hmm. It depends if, if it's like very subtle, but like if it's like ridiculous, then it feels a bit weird. Mm -hmm. How's the Osiris Hush? Great. Really good. You're liking it. Mm -hmm. Hello, mate. Hi. Hello on Twitch. Um, how many? <laughs> what? What? How many suits does Hutch's hair have? <laughs> Paternity suits, mate. Oh my, oh my days. Um, am I playing RG a gem today? Uh, n no plans, but uh, we could possibly get into like going crazy with a guitar wall and grabbing guitars. I don't know. Yeah. I missed the last live. What guitar? Oh yeah. We, we're still oh, yeah. getting that sorted. But, pickups, um, isn't it? Pickups, yeah. It was a seven, seven string multi scale trem that you went for. Yeah. 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 We need the pickups with the angle. Yeah. That's right. It needs to be slanty pickups. Uh, Kiesel Swirl. Um, I, I have the, well, I have the A. No, it's an Aries, sorry. I was, I was going to say it was an A2, but it's, a, it's an Aries. And, uh, yeah, super cool. I think it was just a limited run though. They did one run, then they did another run two years. Uh, sorry, a year later. But I don't know if they'll ever do another one, but um, yeah, it was fun. Really fun. That was a, a surprise as well. A surprise guitar. You need some Hutch merch, like a hair pushy, plushy. Is it hair plushy? What's a hair yeah, pushy? Can, I don't know, I'm intrigued now. Yeah, yeah. You could have your own line. Yeah. <laughs> Um, do you own any left-handed guitars? Oof. Um, I don't. Do you? A left-handed guitar? Mm -hmm. I have a Steve Ray Vaughan Strat. Mm, no. Uh, which has the trem upside down, right? But no. <laughs> you're left-handed. Uh, yeah. Like, if you're left-handed, I presume you don't have any right-handed guitars. So. So why would we have left-handed guitars? That would, that would be kind of weird. Imagine the disappointment, like if you ordered a Kiesel and you accidentally ordered it left-handed, oh, but you're not a lefty. Oh man, 110 swirls, yeah. Uh, 
Uh, uh, the A2? Let's get the A2 out, sure. It has been a little while since we uh, had the A2 out. Oh, it's so like this guitar as well, actually. It's chambered, isn't it? It's chambered, yeah. So, uh, what, what, yeah, oh, yeah. This is the A2. Sorry, this camera's on manual focus right now. But yeah, pink to purple fade. Bingo bango with a black. So uh, I guess this is a swamp ash body, mm -hmm. and we both have a swamp That's ash. Same, yeah, so same finish, isn't it? Yeah, it's the same deal. Yeah. So we're like swamp ash. Yeah, the neck on this guitar is so 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 cool though. I don't know if I... That's the best. Yeah, look at that. That's yeah, a wild, wild neck. What pickups are those? Um, also, my pickups, yeah. yeah. Yeah, really cool. Black raw tone, yeah, <clears throat> very cool. It's got two different jack inputs as well. Oh yeah, that's true. So that's quite a novel. Ooh, I, I also have the battery pack on this one and I just got a red light when I plugged it in, so it might not have charge or it might be low on charge. It is tuning up, so it's got at least some charge. I should have a, a charging day. Where we just charge all the guitars that have the USB. I should have a restring day, actually. There's so many guitars now. I'm kind of indecided between like NYXLs and the coded strings, the XS. Mm -hmm. I don't know. What? Hey, Chris. What um, strings are you guys using? Do you use regular? The Dario and the balls? What do you use? Yeah, hopefully it won't die. MYXLs, yeah, I love the MYXLs, they're great. They're probably still my favorite string. I, I went through, um, using 11s, wow. I went through a phase of using the coated strings a lot. The XS, yeah, I like, they're very, very smooth. But I feel over time, the tuning stability deteriorates faster than the, than the NYXLs. So it's just, what kind of fingers do you have? Do you have sweaty, acidic fingers? Yeah. If so, yeah, Tony can get friggin' yeah, you should be on the, you should be on it. Um, AliExpress, oh, okay. They, uh, is it AliExpress? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, if it works, it works, mate. It works. So here is the A2. say like the bend radius is slightly different so right there you have to bend a little bit higher to make the pitch where on the headless less it would just be a little bit less so it's like that muscle mem memory thing I use 9 to 42s by the way yeah the fretboard.
My looping is so, it's like, I have two different layers. <laughs> this is what I'm like in the morning when I take this out. <laughs> Let's try it one more time.
All right, so uh, how, how do we record this? I don't know, I don't know, Sean. So maybe we just turn our mics off for a second and then you can record it and loop it. All right, we're gonna turn the mics off for now. You can download that right and you can loop that section. There you go. Um, do something fun on it and put it on the Discord. It's gone. It's game over. Just like that. Uh, mate, that was a lot of notes. It's all right, wasn't it? A lot of notes. I think that's the most notes that might be played on a live stream today. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> We've been packing it in. <laughs> yes. Um, what the heck's going on here? I know, right? Yeah. Uh, which bridge gives you more freedom in terms of range and overall usage? Um, probably a Floyd Rose in terms of like the sheer amount of pullback. Um, the Gota is not as much as the Kiesel Tram. <laughs> that was the friggin' bomb. It was, uh, yeah, it was a good workout, I'll tell you that. Um, I think for me, the headless trim is like a good balance because you, you can full dive bomb, obviously. And you get a good range going back, probably like just over four notes. Get a uh, decent flutter. Not the craziest uh, length of flutter, but f for me, I usually hit the trim bar like. Sorry, the, the tram itself, not the bar. Do you get a better flutter that way, do you think? I actually just use it more of an accent. Like if I'm going like this. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. It just depends what you're into. Like you, you might prefer a Floyd Rose for its like extreme pullbacks. Um, but it depends if there's any routing, routing on the guitar as well, you know. Thank you, Rab. Zenfully as well here. Uh, that one leg that we get, Thomas was doing the um, same note. Uh, oh yeah, um, I was just I was just spamming one note. <laughs> so I went um, all four fingers into one fret, you know. So I went like basically. And then I just did like a lick based around that. So it was, it was a bit of a bit of showmanship, right? Mm -hmm. A bit of silliness. That's all it was. Being silly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I have. I've never used the Vega trim. No, I haven't. Smell on the fingers, and they're not smelling too bad. Yeah. We overextended our notes, minute quarter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The camera's gonna overheat again. Um, yeah, listen, if, if you're tuning in, um, we'll, we'll have a chat after this, but if you're just tuning in late, like late to the stream, uh, check this out and head to polychromedsp.com, get all the tones, and if you're like, well, oh, what does it do? This is what...
Yeah, so the uh, plugin is the Polychrome DSP McLaughlin Suite. That's what we've been using for the, the tones today. And uh, all the cleans, all the gain, the shred, the reverbs, delays, everything's from that single plugin. So uh, we just kicked off. We haven't advertised it on Instagram or anything uh, quite yet. But the winter sale, the winter special sale has just begun and you can get 50% off right now. And all the tones that I've been using are in there as well. So there, there you go. Get that, uh, get that sorted out for the weekend. Get absolutely ripping. All the big hitting tones. And you've, you've broken up now. I uh, have, yeah, 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 I'm off. Not with his lady. No. Like a figure of like breaking up from working. From working, yeah. Yes, very nice, mate. Um, Alyssa Day, yeah, she's fantastic and amazing. Lovely, lovely person, an amazing musician. What more could you ask for? Yeah, we're so, uh, we're so happy that she's digging the plug in. It's amazing. Uh, you have to play this clip at random times from now on, yeah. Just every time, ding, trigger it. Yeah, real fun. Uh, Alyssa will get a signature plug. I, I, I don't know, like our schedule is already like two years to three years. It was three years, but with some heavy, heavy work, we've been kind of pulling it inwards and it's looking good. So um, we'll kind of, we'll, we'll, we'll know more in the next year or so. Yeah, it must be like a 30 minute, every 30 minutes, Robbie. I'll check that out. It must be the YouTube settings. I'll check it out for next time, mate. It's not something that was intentional because I literally make about one pence every thousand ads or something like that. So, um, any progress with the eight string? You know what? I haven't made any progress because I haven't played the eight string in about a month now. But I was, I was absolutely obsessed with it. Full on, yeah. I love it. I really do like it. I'm glad that I have it. Um, oh, next year is going to be a big one, I think. Yeah, I'm really excited. Yeah, really, really um, like the early stages of what we're working on. That's coming up next level, next level. Uh, 1.51, um, hopefully next week. We were going to release it this week. Um, but then there was, I think, one final tweak that was made to it. So probably next week, just keep an eye out on the Polychrome email um, or the, the Discord part. It's a nice little um, performance update. It's really cool. Anytime you can get something, uh, make something a bit more efficient again. Scared. The thumping, mate. I, yeah, I, I like it. I think I like the sound of it in tracks, like bassy sort of things. Mm -hmm. Don't get to get riffs. Yeah. Kind of like a, a nice alternative to riffs. To bass, sorry. Yeah. To bass. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, but I'm excited for next year. It's going to be a good one. Hopefully. Yeah. Well, it's about that time where we, we start thinking about kebabs, mate. <laughs> Solid. Yeah. We have a look Rad Brad thing. hit the super chat yeah. earlier. He's like making sure that the kebabs like are a go. Yeah, we're gonna eat again. Any new presets with this update? No. I have put some new presets on the Discord, which are actually additional presets, but um, they won't be included officially. We're saving all the, the extra presets for the, the big releases, like, mm -hmm. for example, 1.6. So, carb loading time, oh. yeah, I've, 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 I've hit I think I'm about 120 grams of protein so far today. So if we get to 150, it's a win. You count the, the protein intake? Of course I'm not, no. Oh, mate. I'm losing weight. Yeah, yeah. Mate, you don't want to lose I, weight. I do, because then, like, there's muscle here. Under the fat. You want to grow that muscle, mate. Absolutely get ripped. No, no. Mate, I reckon if you get 200 grams of protein a day, <coughs> a little bit of test, I like to be aerodynamic. Aerodynamic, mate. mate I, I, I reckon if I get you fed up and some uh, some roids, mate, within two years, you'll hardly fit through that door. <laughs> <laughs> you'll have to come through the door feet first. 
That's a lot of protein, mate. It's a decent amount, cause. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what's big in 1.6? Uh, no plans yet. Uh, that that we can tell you about. <laughs> um, but 1.5 is still so fresh out, and it's a great update. You know. Yeah. If if we roid Tim up, I, I don't know about two weeks, Sean. That's a that's a little bit. Yeah, that that that, <laughs> that that's. That's hard, but two months, roids right in the ass. I don't think it would be a good idea. Two whole chickens no, a day, no. 12 eggs, <laughs> three, I don't know, like, yeah, I think like, just load you up on sugars and carbs, yeah, it'd be, it'd be massive quick. Um, yeah, there'd be no more headless, it would look like toys. Hutch would look like, uh, Hutch go to pick up the guitar and just rip the neck, oh yeah, 100%. 100%. Uh, <laughs> Tim on roids. That would be something to see. You see? <laughs> Mate, I, I can get you some cheap roids for 80 quid. No, I don't know you. what will be in them. No, I don't think it's a good idea. Uh, 1.5 is a total game changer. Oh, thank you guys. Yeah, I'm glad. You, uh, and Clem, I, I saw your uh, lifelong fan or, or, or some message along those lines of Polychrome. And I, I'm really, really happy that you guys are, are digging it so much. So remember, you can get 50% off polychromedsp.com. We also have, uh, when you buy this, uh, you have uh, the, the lead. McRock, uh, School of McRock lead playing essentials is included with this as well. This is six bespoke lessons, downloadable, so you can keep those lessons on your hard drive. Do whatever you like with them. You know, Christmas Day, you know, you're absolutely out of your mind on turkey and, um, like, uh, what would the sweet be? Mince pies. Mince pies. You're absolutely yeah. out of your mind on sweet, on mince pies. Then you go and, you know, you watch a couple of lessons and learn some, some lead playing techniques and approaches. You've got it all. So that, that is actually included uh, for free with the plugin right now as well. So you get 50% off the plugin and the 119 included as well. And you also get a bunch of other things included as well. There's like a bonus studio mega pack included. So I don't know why we've we've kept these things on, but that's how it goes. You can't give to one person and not to the other. It's not fair. No. So every time we do these like free stuff, we just kind of leave them as extra freebies. Um you know, um, cause that was one of my original plans for the UI. If we kept it in the w in the style that we previously used it, um, it was actually uh, a light mode included, so you could switch between them. Um, but we changed the graphics type to like basically the the new style, which is more like rendered, right? Um, but if we kept the previous style, which wasn't as you know, it was very minim minimalistic very um you know yeah it, it was whatever you think of that style i i really liked it at the time but then when we got into the the render version i was like oh that looks so sick it would be great to to turn that into the plugin ui um but originally on the original ui we were experimenting with a light mode and a dark mode but now it's just that rendered ui we might tweak it on 1.6 if we get to 1.6 i don't know but it won't change like you know massively it'll be like the blue will have a tiny bit more saturation very very subtle probably if at all you know I i'm re-watching those lessons definitely not a single watch thing guys oh thank you <coughs> yeah. i like um i do like switching sometimes on my phone between light and dark mode but but i think plugins mostly dark work for me uh. <laughs> Orange and cream vibe, yeah. Yeah, can you imagine that? You just change to whatever color scheme you like. Um, the difficulty is, is with this UI, the, the whole thing, every single element needs to be exported individually. So like the pedal would be exported separately to the, the background and the knobs and the shadows. So it's actually a hell of a lot of work, which is why when we switched from 1.2 to 1.5, there was like that three month gap because like once we, stop playing around with that render UI, we couldn't go back because it just looks so good. But then it took a long time to not only create, but to also export the hundreds of elements and then to code them and to build it into an actual 
usable plugin. It's, it's like a big thing, you know, so yeah, and, and we are like full steam ahead with uh, the next plugin right now. You know, that's the obsession right now. We're like all in on that and um, it's coming together. Amazing. Absolutely just on the money. You know, when you just can't stop playing, you're like, fuck, yes, this is good. Those kind of feelings. Kind of like the feelings when you stick a big massive <laughs> kebab right in your mouth, mate. Those kind of feelings. Uh, guys, if you're um, on Twitch, don't forget, uh, give Timmy Hutch a follow. No, but YouTube, I'm back on YouTube. If you're on YouTube, which most of you are, I can see, uh, youtube.com forward slash Tim Hutch UK. Yes, that's it. Tim Hutch yeah. UK. I had to think there for a while. Uh, Zenfleet, yeah, Polychrome DSP is a plugin company. So we, we launched with uh, the McRockland suite because it solved a massive problem that I had uh, in terms of like using so much gear. Uh, check Discord. Oh, sure. We've got, we've, got, we've got a situation here. What's going on on Discord? Message requests. Uh. Oh, that's cool, Sean. Oh, <laughs> this is Hutch on Rides, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta show you. I'm back on keyboards. Oh yeah, let me download this, save image, and then I'll drag it on here. I'll not screen share it from the Apple. <laughs> Look at that. This is Hutch on Rides. <laughs> let, me, let me put that side by side. There we go. Mate, that's a win. Mate, two years I could have you looking like that, Tim. <sighs> Maybe not. It's a good look. Do you think? Yeah, that's great, mate. Try to do that pose, get you. Yeah, we need, a, we need to get at least four stone of pure muscle on you. I think it's more than that. Maybe five. No, it's about four stone, yeah. Yeah. Lovely, let's do a tr that transparent overlay and we can see. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's Tim, roided out of his mind. Lovely, lovely. <laughs> Absolutely yoked, yes, mate. Anyway, guys, thank you for the lovely evening. Half nine, we're gonna go and uh, pick ourselves a little wrap or a little bit of chicken shish up. Hope you have a great weekend. Um, if you're new to the stream and you're like, hey, I want to I want to talk to these people uh, Join us on the discord mcrockland.com forward slash discord and jump on there uh, I'm there all the guys are there. We're all chatting on there and having a have a wonderful time and uh, The viv tech will always be in the pipeline until it happens Until it happens troll and then you're gonna be like wow. I've got that viv tech <laughs> We're gonna build uh, a special edition of the plugin just for troll Right. VivTech edition. <laughs> um, yeah, thank you everyone, and uh, we'll see you back here uh, real soon. And yeah, uh, I think Masterclass, yeah, I think it is tomorrow. I was going to jump over to some green screen stuff, but I might just leave the setup as is. And um, yeah, I think School of McGrock Masterclass. So, you know, if you want to take a 14 day free trial, School of McGrock, and join us for the Masterclass, you know, why not do that? SchoolofMcGrock.com. Lovely. Um, there we go, it's been a blast. In Any fact, I might be there for the masterclass tomorrow. Oh. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Maybe we should just do a, a full-on guitar Q&A. You just got here, mate. You're late to the party. We're just, we're just about to go get some kebabs. Yeah, if you, if you want to do like a guitar Q&A tomorrow, we'll do all guitar techniques, questions. Yeah, let's do that. Whatever, whatever goes, goes. Music industry, artist stuff, whatever. Right, let's do it. That sounds fun. Sounds very fun, yeah. Beautiful. Um, yeah, let's do that. Um, should we do it here, or do you want to do it like, are you on a Zoom at, from home? I'm on Zoom, but I could come here. Well, we could do either. Either or, Probably we'll figure here. it out. Uh, usually at 9 p.m. UK for at least 60 minutes, usually about 70 minutes, 9 p.m. UK. Um, keep an eye on the School McRock email or the Discord. Michael, if Tim's coming over, it might be slightly earlier, like 8 p.m. UK, but between 8 and 9 p.m. UK. But yeah, that'll be. I, mean, I can come at 9. Yeah. Cool. It's cool. Do, awesome. Do the regular time. Beautiful. Well, there we go, guys. Thank you again. We'll see you back here real soon. Have a fantastic weekend. Cheers, everyone.
Goodbye.